Welcome back to part 17 of Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex. We've completed, we've gotten all the crystals in World 5, and now we're going to face Dr. Cortex. And try to stop his plans from defeating us. Congratulations, Crash. You should be proud of yourself. Not only have you collected all the crystals in record time, but you also defeated the elementals. Let Crunch and me be the first ones to congratulate you. By bubbling your sand, Bandicoot freighted to a pump. Come again. Well, thanks, Cortex, but nice try. So, yeah. Final boss of the game. And I don't think, I think this is either the third hardest or the fourth hardest. Hard to tell, but yeah. To defeat Cortex, you have to hit him four times. Uh, I died by rocks. I wasn't even walking. Yeah, you pretty much have to avoid those rocks. What, what happens is that Crunch will step on a button and that button does certain things. Like for this one, rocks fall down from the ceiling. You have to shoot Crunch and then either... and then he'll kick Cortex and then... well, Cortex will... you have to shoot Cortex or spin Cortex. And then... Crunch will uh, press the uh, second switch first, and then some random sequence of switches for like that time he pressed the uh, blue switch and the yellow switch. Now here's the uh, red switch, and every switch represents like a certain thing, like the yellow ones is rocks, the blue is ice, and the red is fire. That's three hits on Cortex. You have to uh, hit him four times to win. And yeah, that's what purple does. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought that was ice for a second. This here is ice. Shoot him one more time, and he'll get dizzy, somehow kick Cortex, spin him, and that's it. And what do we get? Speed shoes. Hold R2 to, while running to run faster. And that's going to be very useful, especially in time trials, to get the relics. But that's it. Well, actually, we're not done yet. Can't you ever let me win? What do you want from me, you creature? Cortex! You realize that Crash may have collected all the crystals, but he doesn't have the gems. With the gems, we can resurrect the masks one last time and destroy that bandicoot once and for all. So, yeah. If you could tell by the, uh, title, we have to fight him again. And we'll have the credits in the finale. But this is not the finale, like... That was the final fight, but we still have other gems to collect. So what I'm going to do next time, 
is actually off screen the relics. Because, I don't know, I think it'd be a waste of time. But yeah, here is the sixth warp room. And there's five more levels. Of course, to get a level, you have to have five relics. For the first one, you need five, ten, fifteen, yeah. For each level, you need five more relics than the previous, like... And yeah. So yeah, that's all here in Warp Room 6. So yeah, let's save our game. 60%. We have zero relics, but... Yeah. You can see we have zero relics, but next time, in the next video, you'll see me with 28 relics at least. So yeah. So next time I'll have 28 relics out of the 30. I will show you how the relic works next time. So yeah. This is Drew Mario 1306 and I'll see you in the next part.